everyone, Libby here again with another empties video or what I've used up video. Um, hoping the lighting's okay. It's quite late in the day and the sun has almost gone, but I think we've got enough light to to do this in here. So, in no particular order, I've just got my bag that I use is, as you can see, overflowing. So it's time. I can't fit any more in there. So let's go. There's Bailey. And Rosie is already on the couch. I'll, I'll sit there so you can see Rosie. <laughs> you can watch her and listen to me. All right. First up, Tarico Tarocco, I think it's probably actually pronounced. Uh, orange eucalyptus and sage. This is a Crabtree and Evelyn uh, body souffle, which I love. And you'll see, or have seen, I don't know which order they're going up, my current favourites. Probably already seen them, my current favourites. This obviously starred, I think it's been starring for a while. Absolutely love the smell and the texture is so nice. It absorbs in really nice, doesn't leave your skin oily or anything like that. So it's a really, really great product. I have this Jojoba um, exfoliant, face exfoliant from the Jojoba company. I think they're an Australian brand. Yes, jojobacompany.com.au. I bought this from my beautician. It's um, really nice. I've had this a number of times. Um, I quite like it. Obviously, when the lid has issues closing up towards the end, I much as I like it, I'm looking for something else that's a little bit heavier of a of a grit. So, um, not saying I won't rebuy it, but I won't rebuy it straight away. I've got a few other samples to try out, and I'm just looking for something that's a little bit more gritty. <laughs> okay. Um, this I think has got a little bit left in it. This is the Giovanni shave cream that I bought from iHerb. And I was happy with this. Um, the thing I found annoying with it, you have to like put it on and let it sit for a few minutes before it's sort of activated and then you can shave. Um, yeah, it says apply and smooth across skin, wait briefly to allow the ingredients to work, shave, rinse and refresh. And I was quite happy with it, but I've since found, um, as you will have seen in my current favourites, uh, uh, one I prefer a lot more than this one. So I think it's, like, it's down to there. I've used up most of it and I thought, well, I like the other one better. I wanted to start try the other one before I reordered like one of these or the other one, but I like the other one better, so I'm not going to bother finishing it off. Got quite a bit of shampoo and conditioner here, so I've got one of these, the Davro Anti Dandruff Shampoo. I find these are great for psoriasis, so I have psoriasis, and these um, either this brand or this other brand, which I've got the cleanser or shampoo and the conditioner. So I've got two cleansers and a conditioner. I don't know how I ended up with two and one, but I did. <laughs> so these empty bottles obviously, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how that happened. But both those brands, so what's the other brand? Um, yeah, the De Lorenzo ones as well. I like both of them. It just um, often depends um, I think these ones, I don't like the bottles of these so much, but now I've got um, in my bathroom a little thing where I pour it in the top and it's just a, dispens a dispenser. I have a dispenser in my bathroom now, so I pour them in and empty them. So I usually just try and buy whichever one. I can get this one locally, like at my local shopping centre. They don't sell this one, but this one's cheaper. So if I'm at a different place, at one of the other hair places, I'll try and usually get this one because it's just a bit cheaper. Both I find work really well because they're both designed for scalp problems. I've got another body moisture. So I'm just pulling out so these are all over the place. So I've got another, this is another Jojoba company one. This is a coconut citrus body souffle. Now this was bought for me quite a few years ago for my birthday I think. The girls bought this for me. I believe. Or it could have been a present from my beautician. I can't remember now. Actually I think it was. You know it was? It was the 40th birthday present from my beautician. And I've, I've actually just started recently trying to use it. And I've been, I didn't, I didn't like the smell so much. The smell's not great, so I never used it. And it was sucked away in a drawer. And I thought, I'll get it out and I'll use it. And I've been trying to use it. And I was looking at it again the other day saying, oh, I wonder if I should bother continuing. And then I saw the use by date on the back. <laughs> Time to put it in the bin. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, that shouldn't be in there. Okay, so we've got 
from Bath and Body Works, a coconut lime breeze shower gel. Love this. Have another bottle put aside for when summer comes again. But yeah, pretty much finished off this over the summer. Oh, we so need some illusion. Actually, I just finished off this one off this morning. Um, even though it's winter, I just wanted to. I only had like so much left. I thought I just let's just get this finished. So I've been working on it for the last few weeks. But I've also been using my other smells, other scents and stuff too. So anyway, use that one up. So I use it a lot, obviously, over the summer. Very nice. Love it. Glad I have got more. Okay. What I should have done is... um. Okay, I think most of them are... A few... So this is the, the, um, the Gillette shaving cream I was using. Obviously, now I've got the... Um, Kiss... What's it called? The Kiss My Face one that I get for my herbs, so I won't be buying any of this. I'm so glad that I found a, a cruelty free alternative that I think works better than this one anyway. So that's good. That was finished up. I'm just sort of separating a few things out as I go, a few sort of things I've given up on. Okay, I finished off this Crystal Essence deodorant and I'm working on another bottle already. Really, really like these. I get these again from iHerb. Um, They've got different smells. I think I've ordered, I'm using the same one again. I think I've got another scent as well. They're probably not strong enough. In the summer, I found I had to just use a normal antiperspirant, which I don't really like using, but in the summer, I needed it. But now I'm back on this. So probably six, eight months of the year, I can use this. And then when those really stinky, hot summer days, <laughs> it just needs something a bit more. My favourite nail polish remover, it's just the Australis nail polish remover. It's cheap, it does the job, and being Australian, I know it's cruelty free, so that's great. I finished off a Renew, I think that's how it's pronounced, Frangipani soap. That um, It's made in Fiji. I think I bought it in Fiji, <laughs> but I might not have, I'm not sure. That was nice. Um, a little... Bath and Body Works pocket back in Island Nectar. That was a nice one. I like that one. Mm. They're, all, they're all pretty good though. We have um, a People for Plants uh, face hip oil. Face hip oil. Oh yeah. Face. No. Rose hip oil <laughs> for the face. I knew that sounded wrong. Uh, yes, face oil, which has got rose hip as one of the main ingredients. I liked it, but not as much as the Trilogy one. So, I mean, I used it all up. Um, certified organic. So, it's quite nice. I think with these, I always recommend just getting probably the one that... They're not that different, I don't find. Some are like slightly better than the others. So, um, get whatever you can afford, really, I guess, is <laughs> my recommendation when it comes to rosehip oil. Um, because... This one might be 9 out of 10, if my favourite one, the Trilogy one, is 10 out of 10. They were all pretty good. I don't think I've used any rosy pearls and gone, oh, that's really not good. Just some I prefer, bit, prefer more than others. I sampled this Pell, Pell Active Hydrating Cream Cleanser. Uh, I got it in one of my sample boxes. I can't remember what like, you know. Mm, it was just okay. I wouldn't try and find it again. What else have we got? We have an Aveeno Daily Moisturising Cream. That was just enough in that to do two, barely two, um, full body moistures. Full body moisturisers. I don't know how you want to say that. Um, not too bad, but it's owned by Johnson & Johnson, so it's not cruelty free. So I won't be buying more. Okay, my very favourite facial wipes, these whatnot ones, which I buy from notoxbox.com.au. Um, often uh, organic shops will sell them as well. So, because they are organic, and I really like this. This is just a little sample pack of five, so I finished that off on holidays. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these. I've got the bigger packets as well. Love them. They're definitely the best facial wipes I have tried. Okay, a candle. This is a Bath and Body Works watermelon lemonade. And I think I might have finished off another one. I took the label off before I thought of putting it into my empties box. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Um, oh, lemon. 
So I just to take the labels off. So that was a lemon one. Now that is the um, the white barn brand, but again, it's from Bath and Body Works. Finish off those two. And we have a few dud products. So all retirements, because they're probably so old, it's not funny. I'm going to go and do a big go through. That's why I'm paying more attention to dates at the minute, because I'm watching a few videos on expiry dates of skincare and makeup. So the few I've already started to work on, so I just threw them straight in my bin. This is a lipstick from L'Occitane. Now I haven't used L'Occitane for about a year and a half now, since they decided they were going to sell in China. So <laughs> that's um, and it's a bit dry and draggy now anyway. And this is an e.l.f. one that, again, I've had for a long time. You can see I've actually used up quite a lot of the product. It would have been bought probably three, over three years ago. So probably three and a half years ago, I think I bought this. It's one of my first things I ever bought from Crush Cosmetics. So, yeah, so I'm going to retire that one because I think it's probably well past its date. This one I finished off was a sample. It was um, California Mango hand and body lotion. There's a tiny bit left in it. I used it as a full body moisturizer. Smells smells nice, but I didn't really like the texture of it. It felt it took a long time to absorb into your skin. So maybe it would work better as a hand cream. I never ever should try it. Maybe I should try it as a hand cream. Since I've got a little bit left. Which it smells not that great of it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a notebook and stick it in here so that when um I finished a product, if it's not one I'm used to using, like particular samples, I can make a note, yeah, it's it's not nice, it's not a nice texture. I mean, it's a natural hand and body lotion, but I don't like the texture, my hands are sticky now, so it's not a good hand cream. So, obviously won't be rebuying that. It's cruelty free, eco-friendly, paraben free, and a vegan formula, but I don't like that texture on my hand. Ugh. And another one I didn't like was this Serafina Be Mine So Divine Hand Cream made with organic ingredients. This is made in Australia. Again, I got this in a sample box. Can't remember what it smells like. It really smells like much. I didn't like the texture at all. I, I used it once and I thought, oh, I cannot, well, my hands feel so yucky after that one. I thought I can't use this as a hand cream. So. In the bin it goes. So that is it, I believe. Yes. So that's it for my empties. Um, I seem to get. I'm sure it's not as long since I did the last empties as what it normally is, but as you can see, it's what I used up. And now I can throw it all in the bin and um, start working on another one for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. Again, if you've got any questions about anything, let me know. Um, I've sort of tried to point out sort of where I got some things. If I haven't said, it's probably just pretty much available in Australia. Um, but again, if you've got any questions, let me know and I'll um, talk to you next time. Goodbye.